hi and welcome to my Python tutorial is a tic-tac-toe tutorial so what I just do it now is just uh, play around with it just show you guys how it works and uh, you have just won a game right but uh, there might be some uh, modifications still required but if I run it let's give uh, give uh, the zero part of it a try and you guys can see how it works that's it right there you see that so you've just won which means if you look up here the message on the message box is telling it's telling us that uh, the zero player wins okay but the next thing I'll do now is let me just take you guys straight to the code so that you see how I've managed to put that together. Go to the codes right up here. I've, I've imported uh, TK Inter and then I imported the message box that I used that you guys saw earlier on. And here that's the, my TK then declare there and here have the title and I also have a click equals true there which is more or less like a boolean expression and here I define my I say I define the functions right here so right here is where I've written the code just for is either if button equals text box if the text box of the button equals empty then uh, once I click on it which means the click is true then the text box automatically become sorry the button becomes uh, X or it will end up and become letter O so but right here this is where I have compared each of those buttons if you guys remember TikTok to the winning numbers are normally let's say two three one two three then followed by the next combination which is right here I say that will be four five and six then we have uh, seven eight nine those are the winning combination horizontally and let's say we go back down and say vertically the winning numbers will be one four seven two five eight three six nine those are the winning combinations and we can always win diagonally one five nine or three five seven those are the winning combinations so what I've done actually I'm uh, right now I'm commenting that out what I've done right now is uh, the winning combinations they are all here for you guys to see okay I agree the winning combination happened to be inside my definition right here using else if statement and that's it right there the winning combination for the X and the winning combination for the zero now right below here I have my button that I've declared up here that's just the name okay I say string value now from here all the way down are my buttons these are the buttons and this is the font size the width the height and the width of the button now calling the command yeah you might be wondering why didn't I call checker I didn't bother call checker because the way I've put together the system so I've used the lumba function okay assigning it straight to the checker okay now the button the position of the button is row one and column zero okay and I want it to be in this order north uh, south north east and west so I repeated the same thing for all the buttons in total I have nine buttons there you can see right here one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here I ended my program. Let me bring that up so you can see that. I've ended my program right here. There. Okay. Um, if you have any better way of doing this, I'll be very happy to hear an uh, intelligent academic solution to it, to this. But if you don't, I will say please do not pass any comment. So I will run the program again. It's not perfect. You can always modify it and just pass me a comment on how to modify my own bit. I'll be very happy to get another solution and how to modify it but like I said earlier on if you do not have any intelligent solution to it please don't pass any comment only intelligent solution is welcome so I'm just gonna save this file now run it again and that is it right there let's say we have zero to win this time around there you can see the winning score is just the zero okay let's give the other winning score a go run the program again now we have the let's try the y out and the x out there you can see that winner is x okay you can also block the whole winning combination let's say we have as follows so I'm more or less sort of like blocking the whole winning combination you can see oh I haven't blocked it really oh that's the winner right there you see it's working as expected but I'll say the truth is it's not that perfect if you can find a very good solution to it I will be very happy but well, please just let me know so before I call it a day for now I will take you back to the code so that you guys see every single line of code you can always modify it and please do get back to me here at the codes modify it as you please and let's have a very academic and reasonable comment so I'm gonna call it a day right now you all have a nice day now